Welcome to the Hill Inventory Property Market Roundup for the April to June quarter of 2020. It appears that the market has recalibrated after the initial impact of COVID-19. At first, buyers were cautious with some taking a wait and see approach before committing to purchases. However, there were many buyers who had sold prior to the pre-lockdown restrictions being imposed and still needed a home. We found whilst there was an adjustment in pricing expectation from buyers, Sellers who positioned themselves at the front of the queue in terms of value had a strong response. Some examples of this during April were 887 Princess Highway in Ginein, which sold for $845,000, and 10 Nemantia Road in Ingenine, which sold for $987,500. Both three bedroom houses were shown by appointment due to restrictions. We showed in excess of 25 qualified buyers and exchanged inside of two weeks on both. This proved that buyers were still there if their expectations were met and we could find a way to service them. Over the course of the last three months in the Sutherland Shire, we've seen stock on market increase by approximately 50%. It's not that the rate of stock coming on has increased, it's more that the number of sales have decreased in this period. Over the last quarter, I've seen about two new listings for every one sale. Having over seven years combined experience in our sales team, our agents are equipped to assist clients in all stages of the property cycle. Knowing the way allows us to give you a competitive advantage and come out in front in a property transaction with more money in your pocket. An example of this is the sale of 13 at 82 Wilson Parade in Heathcote. We were able to show our vendors, who had purchased from me 10 years earlier, the steps to take to maximise their sale price, but also how to lock in a purchase well below expectations. Pre-COVID, this would have likely have been a $400,000 changeover figure, but it was completed with a changeover of just $195,000. So despite the doom and gloom in the media, we are still showing our clients how to find a win. Whilst property prices have corrected, it appears that we are presently in a more normal market for the time being. Although many have their focus on what the economy and property market will look like post-September, when the COVID-19 stimulus packages come to an end, some commentators are referring to this as the economic cliff, while others are suggesting that further fiscal stimulus will be implemented. There's been a lot of media around property prices and how much they've changed. So for our local market, let's take a look at some of the sales results of properties that have sold and sold again with no significant changes to the property. In my opinion, this gives you the most accurate picture of price change. This apartment in Luna at Janali sold for $800,000 in May 2017. We have just resold this in July 2020 for $765,000. That's approximately a 4% change. This apartment in Clio Street in Sutherland sold in September 2016 for $693,700. We sold it in July 2020 for $705,000, which is approximately a 2% increase. The best example I have of pre and post COVID restrictions is this house in Ingedine, selling for a million dollars in mid-March and then again for 950,000 in mid-May, showing a 5% shift in prices at that time. It has been my experience that when the market shifts, that it's a difference between seller and buyer expectations that make it feel worse. What I mean by this is if a sale was recorded in February at a million dollars, often the next seller of a similar property would like to get five to 10% more. If the market shifts down 5% from that million dollars, that's 950,000. But the seller feels like the market's moved $150,000 rather than the 5% from the previous benchmark. I'd like to personally thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you've enjoyed the content. As always, if you've got questions about the market or your own property, the Hill Inventory team are more than happy to assist. Thank you.